Governor Stitt says he worked with Senators Lankford and Mullen, as well as Congressman Lucas, to make this decision. Governor received this email from the EPA saying, I'm emailing to notify you that Norfolk Southern Railway Company intends to ship waste material to Clean Harbor's Lone Mountain facility. The facility in question is located in Waynoka, Oklahoma, and specializes in hazardous waste disposal, according to the Oklahoma DEQ website. Stitt gave a reason for blocking it on social media today, saying, there are too many unanswered questions, and ultimately, I made the decision that this is not in the best interest of Oklahomans. According to the governor's team, it's not unusual for hazardous waste to come to Oklahoma, but they say the EPA's request was. They felt it raised a red flag when they reached out, and they were told it would be around 2,600 cubic yards of waste they'd be receiving, the size of which worried them. The EPA sent us a statement saying, quote, Norfolk Southern is under contract with a permitted disposal facility in Oklahoma that is able to accept this waste. We are reviewing all legal authorities to ensure that the people of East Palestine, who have suffered enough already, don't become victims of this political grandstanding. I asked today if this decision is to postpone and get more info or indefinitely, and they said it's a permanent no right now because of those unanswered questions. A representative of the governor says he has empathy for Ohio and its governor, but felt this was the best decision for Oklahoma. We reached out to the waste facility as well as Norfolk Southern outside of business hours, and they haven't responded yet. Colby Terrell, KOCO 5 News. Colby, thank you. Senator Lankford said today Governor Stitt was right to push back, and there are, quote, too many unknowns for this proposal to shift hazardous waste from Ohio to Oklahoma.